reporting live from janeequipment.com. Today, we're gonna to be giving you a product demo of the new Graco Santa Spray HP65. Um, this product was just announced about two weeks ago, and uh, we're one of the lucky shops to get our hands on the first shipments out of the factory. So I wanted to shoot a quick product demo so people know what to expect when they're spraying with their Graco HP65 and maybe clear up some questions that I'm getting. Uh, one of the first things uh, that I'm getting a lot of questions on are, well, what's the difference between this product and a GX19? Uh, although they do look visually similar, they are two completely different units. Uh, Graco has actually really gone through the lengths and the efforts to re-engineer uh, these sprayers to spray disinfectant. Uh, this is not a paint sprayer. It will not spray paint. Uh, let me go over a couple of the key differences between the disinfectant sprayers that Graco is releasing and some of the paint sprayers that they may look like. Um, number one, this pump has been re-engineered pretty much from the ground up. It's a different material on the pump. The metals being used are completely different. And the reason for that is a lot of steel and aluminum will not hold up to the corrosive natures of disinfectants. Uh, disinfectants base ingredients react differently with metals and the normal aluminum and steel that's in a paint sprayer honestly will not hold up over the long term. Graco has made these units to hold up to disinfectant, um, not something that you're only gonna have to use once or twice, but an actual, you know, built to last tool for this exact application. So I do have to give Graco some credit and really went above and beyond in this. Um, it is coming with a few different key ingredients uh, and components here, and I wanna kinda go over that and spotlight some differences also. So this sprayer will ship with a completely different spray gun. Uh, this is a redesigned spray gun for spraying disinfectant. This isn't the same spray gun that your GX19 would come with. So there's another difference there. Also, um, it's coming with this um, extension here. And I just want to compare it to um, other Graco extensions uh, that I have right here. And just to show you, the metals are two different alloys. Once again, this is because the normal metals used for paint spraying are not gonna hold up over the long term with disinfectant. So Graco is actually shipping this with this extension, which as you can see, has a different look to it because it is a different material being used. Um, once again, like I said, Graco really went through great lengths to re-engineer this. Another difference is our tip gasket. As you can see here, this tip gasket is 100% plastic. And if we compare it to our regular tip gaskets, you see it is much different. Um, I would say this is probably because this paint sprayer, another big difference, or this disinfectant sprayer rather, another big difference to this disinfectant sprayer is that it's only gonna reach 1,000 PSI. This will never reach 3,000 PSI like a lot of paint sprayers do. Um, and because it was engineered for this purpose, um, now that I've kind of gone over some differences, um, I do want to highlight that it is going to come with three spray tips and this extension out of the box. Um, no other units, as far as I know, are coming with this many accessories. This is going to come with a 619 low pressure tip, a 515 low pressure tip, and a 617 low pressure tip. Uh, so now we're going to get into the product demo. Just going to go ahead and screw my uh, tip guard on and put my safety on. Uh, and what we're spraying today is BioWest disinfectant. Um, it is something that we're recommending here at janeequipment.com. Uh, we do carry it in store and online. And it is safe to spray uh, through most, if not all the sprayers that we are selling at this point. So now that we're set up, let's go ahead and spray uh, some disinfectant. A couple things so you guys wanna look out for, especially if you're interested in this product. Um, it's on demand, which means the pump is going to turn on when I pull the trigger. Um, it only needs to build pressure when it requires, so you're going to hear it turning on and off. That is part of its normal operation. Luckily, it's not very loud. We do have it right here next to us. Um, during normal working, you'll probably have this 50 feet of hose unreeled and be further away from the machine. But I do want people to know, um, you know, the sound it's going to make. And then we're going to use this piece of cardboard so we can see what kind of spray pattern we're going to get. So here we go. So as you can see there, it's a very consistent spray pattern. Um, the reason we're using cardboard is that you can see that. And uh, we're actually going to give it a different angle. Let me flip it over. 
So we're going to show you that again. I'll actually turn my nozzle 90 degrees on this one and I'll do a left to right spray. So one of the good parts about using uh, the Graco Santa Spray sprayers is actually the amount of volume of material it's putting down. You know, um, one point that's being lost with a lot of people is that a lot of disinfectant based on the manufacturer's recommendation does have a dwell time. Um, BioS has a dwell time of three minutes. There's other disinfectants on the market right now that have a dwell time of five minutes and a dwell time of 10 minutes. What that means is the disinfectant has to stay on the surface for that amount of time for it to be effective. Um, the issue that people are having with foggers right now is that the material is evaporating before the dwell time completes. Um, the Graco Santa Spray, you're not gonna have that problem because it does put out a good amount of material at a time and you can actually control your material flow by using your different tips. Um, but you definitely wanna make sure that you have the appropriate amount of dwell time and a big part of that is making sure enough material is leaving your gun at a time and just how much your material is being aerated by your spray tip. Uh, with the Graco Santa Spray, you can definitely get a five to 10 minute dwell time to, if that's what you need. Uh, you can even turn down the pressure using the pressure knob and reduce some of that flow if you need a less of a dwell time. Uh, if you have any other questions about the Graco Santa Spray, please reach out to us on any of our social media channels. You can email us at sales at jadeequipment.com or give us a phone call at 561-964-3228. Once again, we're reporting live from jandequipment.com, your spray equipment specialist. Thanks a lot.